four years, I was in a perpetual state of being controlled by food. I had no control over eating. Does this sound familiar? Eating a meal and then after eating the meal, feeling hungry? I went through this for years and I thought weight loss was impossible. I didn't think it was possible to lose weight until I found the power of the metabolic switch. Now there's multiple ways of making the metabolic switch, which is turning your body into a fat burner as opposed to a sugar burner, and it puts your body in a low blood sugar state. I'm gonna talk about the metabolic diet I used to help me do this, and that is one meal a day. Now, one meal a day is not what most people think. You are not actually eating one meal a day. It's just a form of time-restricted eating where you're eating all of your calories within a four-hour eating window or within an hour eating window. When I was doing one meal a day for the majority of my OMAD meals or my OMAD days, I ate anywhere between 1,200 to 1,600 calories. I just took the, those same amount of calories that I would have eaten throughout the day in a calorie deficit and I squished it in a small eating window. And the reason behind this is because I wanted to take advantage of the metabolic advantages with OMAD. Now, when it comes to sugar addiction and crushing it, I want you to understand that sugar addiction and constantly craving sugar and just craving food is a symptom. It is a symptom of glucose spikes, glucose spikes throughout the day. And these glucose spikes happen because of the food that we are eating, because the food that we are eating is laced with added sugar, laced with fructose, glucose, and all other forms of added sugar. And this causes us to be on a metabolic roller coaster. Now, one meal a day OMAD fasting, that 20 hour of fasting of more more helps to stabilize those blood sugar spikes because for 20 hours during the day, you are not eating. You are consuming things that will put yourself in a stable blood sugar state. So when I say consuming things, for most people, coffee is okay. You would have to take get a CGM to see if coffee spikes your blood sugar, but most of us, black coffee is okay. Apple cider vinegar, lemon water, just take a lemon, squeeze it, sparkling water, anything that doesn't spike your blood sugar, you can have during the day of OMAD fasting. Now, with that being said, me doing OMAD perpetually for eight months to make this weight loss transformation resulted in my levels getting stable. So when my blood sugar's levels were stable, it allowed me to not be controlled by cravings. And now that I'm eating throughout the day, I am so surprised about how my body is responding. Now I did the keto diet on my weight loss journey, just eating high protein or keeping my carbs between 20 grams or 30 grams of carbs per day. And I did that eating throughout the day. And with the keto diet, I've definitely fallen off the wagon. And that's because I would get cravings. Now with OMAD and combining it with keto, you can do OMAD on its own. It literally crushed my cravings permanently. As I'm now eating throughout the day, I am not craving food after I eat, and I'm having all sorts of foods, guys. I'm having foods like bagels, bagels I haven't had for years. I'm having all sorts of starchy foods, but the key to the way I'm eating right now is that I am sandwiching my food with protein. I'm sandwiching my food with fiber and that is something you want to learn how to eat regularly when you eat like this regularly and you sandwich your food with fiber and protein you reduce blood sugar spikes now there's this food order hack that i learned from the glucose goddess now the glucose revolution she talks about how these blood sugar spikes can cause havoc on people's body. She went through her own personal journey where she had a lot of mental health struggles after she got into a pretty much, she had an accident and she broke her spine in several places and she noticed after she healed, she was just craving sugar and she just wanted to understand why. So through her journey, she's helped a lot of people, just like how I'm trying to help people through my journey after I got into a car accident, was craving all sorts of foods, was out of control with binging, and 
I found OMAD as my happy eat medium and I understand why OMAD helps to keep your blood sugar stable. Now, in order to continue that without fasting, to keep your blood sugar stable, you can follow the food order hack, which is kind of like what I'm doing now. So basically you wanna eat your food. Your first food you wanna eat is fiber. Eat your vegetables first. Even better, before you even eat your meal, have a shot of apple cider vinegar and it will curb your glucose spike by 30%. It is like when the glucose spikes and then when it drops, that sudden drop is what causes those sugar cravings. And like I mentioned earlier on in the video, fructose, glucose, added sugar, all that crap is causing the spikes, which is causing so much metabolic harm to people, affecting people's mental health. So yes, number one, apple cider vinegar or any kind of vinegar, as long as it doesn't have sugar. Number two, then you can have your protein and fats. And then number three, have your starchy carbs. You can eat your food in that level, or you can just have your food in a way that you're consuming protein. Protein is a good way to help level out those cravings because our body craves protein. We're made out of protein. Everything's protein, amino acids, skin, everything. <laughs> Everything's protein. So a lot of the time people are craving protein. So when our body gets us to start craving food, it doesn't make us crave a specific food. It just makes us crave food in general. So to avoid those cravings, you can also do the protein leveraging hypothesis. Again, I just learned about this because Glucose Revolution's video just popped out and I was like, okay, let me learn. And it makes sense because that's what I'm doing right now because I'm in a process of building muscle. I am having a lot of my protein earlier on in the day. So I'm having my protein, I'm having a high protein breakfast, I usually have a protein shake before I go to the gym and I notice me having like 80 grams of protein literally within the first hour or two of waking up is making me not have cravings at the end of the day. And it is making me not wanting to overeat, which is what I struggle with more than anything is binge eating and overeating. So the protein leveraging hypothesis basically says just having a, a good chunk of your protein earlier on in the morning. That is something that you can do to help curb your um, cravings if you're having them throughout the day. And another reason why my cravings are in check with sugar is that the way I'm eating my food. When I eat my food, here are an example of foods I'm eating. I'm always having protein and my bread and my starches with protein and fat. I'm never having my bread and starches alone. Usually if you want to avoid spiking your blood sugar, not usually, but always, don't just have a meal of like bread or don't just go grab that cookie and just have a cookie. That's gonna spike your blood sugar and it's gonna make you crave more. If you wanna have that dessert, maybe have it after a meal. Now, you don't have to give up sweets. You just have to learn how to manage those glucose spikes. And the best way to do it is to combine it with protein. That's why I love these um, protein donuts or like protein like cakes and stuff. I made a few on my channel, um, high protein desserts. That's really good because again, it helps you curb those spikes because again, our body craves the protein. So. I just want to thank my journey with OMAD. OMAD's the way I did it. OMAD's not the only way to do it. I'm just touting OMAD because it helped me so much. It has taught me so much. It's taught me about dieting. It's literally allowed me to learn how to eat throughout the day. Like I feel so empowered now. Like before, you guys don't understand, like I would try to diet, just do the basic diet. When I started off my weight loss journey at 282 pounds, I would just do the basic diet of sitting there and like just cutting my calories, but I would always crave food right away and I just didn't understand why. But as the years go on and I'm learning about the metabolic switch and high protein diets and all of this, it's starting to make sense. So I hope my journey is gonna help you out in becoming successful with your journey. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, drop in the word spike. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care, bye.